Okay, Professor, I noticed that uh, you had to readjust when going for the arm bar, and it seems like there's a chance for me to get tuck that elbow in and get on the ground. Uh, what would you do from there? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, and one thing, guys, I remember, like, every time you, you, you try certain, certain position, you're always going to be aware what situation can happen. I mean, like I said, I never play, like, a single position, I play a variation, I play like, you know, I do one technique, I'm kind of expect kind of what can be happening from there. So, on answer your question, um, so, no, like you came right here, you got the framing last, so everything's good, right there, you approach, you reach for the full out grip, you slide to the X, he broke the grip, you switch to the sleeve, slide out, hooks goes over, and you pull the sweep, then I'm ready to go for the arm lock, right? That's what you're talking about, okay? Yeah, right here. Exactly. See, like here, now when he drops his elbow to the floor, it's a fight, right? Especially if you start facing me, yeah, right? So I'm already lost the arm. I'm not saying you cannot start, still pull this arm lock, you may can, but it's time to let go. What I do, I let go that sleeve, and I find you right here and elevate the leg. So now my free knee is gonna go right here and elevate my hips off the floor, and I block this leg. So now I let go, I go under me right there, go to the belt, and they're gonna start dragging you from me. See, but this hook stay right here on his belly butt, because that's gonna be my back take hook. When I go him for the belt, and so I kick, go for behind the back, adjust, and then go for the back take. All right? Go. Yeah. So remember, you're here, Oh, right there, he's break the grip, you switch, control the sleeve, step out, kick, All right? So, you see like I had the foot lock grip, I switch the foot lock to the pants control and lift his leg up in the frame. So when his elbow go to the floor and he start facing me, you're gonna let go the grip and you're gonna go right here on his pants, you control the pain. Lift his leg up, look my knee. Go behind his knee. And my hips gotta come off the floor. You cannot try to do like that and your hips stay low. You have to use him as a lever. One, two. All right? So now I let go that grip. Gonna go under the knee right here in the other leg. Oh, control the belt. All right? So as I extend him, I sit up. Go right there as high you can control behind his neck and drag him to you. As I drag, I pull this leg off. Right there. Then go for both hooks and go for the back take. One time. Good. So remember like, here, you have to open the window. Look at the space I have. Over here, I don't have that much space. You gotta do that. Elbow, his, he got his elbow already clear. So let go, go right there for the paint. Now look my knee, right here, all right? So remember, that hook I have right here on his belly butt, it's gotta stay there. You don't wanna lose that hook. So as I go over here, and I'm start dragging, look, let me sit up. Control behind the back, whatever grip you can do, kick. All right, so then just, you just go to the back, head control, and go to the finish. One more time. Ready grip, sweet. Right there. Put the sweep, he clear the arm, yeah, he put his elbow on the floor, exactly. So if you don't do nothing, stay here, he's gonna get out, all right? So elevate his leg, let go the sleeve, control the paint, knee go behind his knee, you gotta do this moving. You cannot go over here, you cannot just drag his leg, it's right here. You could, but it's not gonna be the same level and the same pressure. I want him to go right here, use that leg to like, one, two. Then you go right there. Just a kick, sit up. Control as high you can behind the neck or any grip you can behind, any grip you can on his gi. 
the hand over here on the belt, or you can go right here, so like, drag, adjust, and you go for the back, all right?